Hi and welcome to this demo video about the ICANN Simulink integration. We will go through how the ICANN Simulink toolbox is installed and set up in Simulink, how to generate code for an ICANN system and how the code is imported to ICANN Design and connected to an application and finally deployed on the ICANN MC4 hardware. The installation starts by running the ICANN Simulink toolbox file. When installation is completed, click finish to view the getting started information. Here you can see info about MathWork tools needed to export components from MATLAB and Simulink. The workflow begins by running the ICANN.init script and then the ICANN preference app to set up the compilers. In the preferences you set up the paths to the compilers you want to use and the build options. When that is done, the ICANN toolbox is ready for use. In the getting started information, you can read more information about how the modeling pattern should be done in order to fit into ICANN design at a later stage. One top model is used as a container for the Simulink models you want to use in your project. And here you have the imports and outports that you will connect to the ICANN application later on. In this case, we use an existing Simulink demo example of a fuel rate controller and measure points defined in the models will be available to view in the ICANN tools later on. When you're ready to export your model, first go to the model configuration parameters and browse to set the system target file to ICANN.tlc. And then select the compilers you want to use, save the model, and then you're ready to generate code. You can start the code generation either by the MATLAB command window or from Simulink under code I can export. A model advisory check is performed and if all checks are passed, the code generation starts. If you have the optional MATLAB and Simulink report generator installed, you will be able to view the Simulink models in I can design. It's just a visual representation. You will not be able to edit them from there. After a successful code generation, the code is saved in the export code folder. In this example, the ICANN fuel rate controller.ism file is the file we can import into ICANN Design in the next step. Okay, so here we have ICANN Design 6 with an ICANN MC4 controller in the system. You import the Simulink code by selecting Simulink models and clicking the Add button. Selecting the ISM file generated in the previous step and then open it. In the application window, you will find the Simulink model if you click Add and select Externals and then the model you created. It now becomes available as a function group and you can simply connect the inputs in ICANN to the imports defined in the Simulink model before. We connect the fuel rate output to an ICANN math channel with a simple Q code function. Once you have saved the project, you can download it to the ICANN MC4 hardware. A project check is done, and if there are no errors, you can send the application to the controller. And the installation is finalizing and uh, when it's done, the unit restarts and the system is updated with your latest uh, Simulink model. So, with the application running in the controller, you can start measuring on the system. And here you can drill down into the Simulink model and measure points defined in the Simulink models are visible here. Um, models are visible here if the MATLAB and Simulink report generator is installed on the computer generating the Simulink code in the first place. Measure groups can be defined and lets you do uh, graph measures on the imports and outputs of the model. Uh, to wrap up this video, I will show how the option to simulate the application using I can simulate looks like. 
to start a simulation you click on the run button and this starts up I can simulate and we start a new simulation here the same code that would be downloaded into the controller is running in the simulator environment now you can navigate your model and measure in the same way as when the code is running on the real hardware as we saw before I hope you enjoy this video and if you're interested and want to try yourself you can download I can design and I can simulate from our web store under the downloads tab and run it in evaluation mode the evaluation mode works without a license but limits you from downloading application to a module thank you for watching